Hi everyone, my name is Javen Fong. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be showing you how I grew my own personal website by 450% in organic traffic over one year. And this here is my personal niche website that I'm experimenting my SEO on. And I started this back in May of 2022. So it's just about reaching the one year mark for this website. It was on a brand new domain. And you can take a look to see I had no traffic last year and it slowly went up and down. Around the March 1st, I started using ChatGPT to start creating articles. And right now at this time in May, it has reached 109 organic traffic every single month. So I just took a quick look over here for percentage calculator to 109. Yeah, it essentially grew 445% in organic traffic. Okay, so taking a look at some competitors, these are just some competitors I have in the cooking space. And obviously this will apply to any other industry you're in. Uh, in my case right now for today's example, it's in the cooking space. So what you want to do first before starting your website and creating content is to make sure that there are enough low keyword difficulty keywords you can target on your new website. So what you want to do is take a look at keyword difficulty and search volume and pretty much any keyword that has a minimum of 30 or 40 or 50 monthly search volume, I would highly recommend you to target those keywords to start. Keyword difficulty, you can target all the keywords that has zero or one keyword difficulty. So you can even filter like this up to keyword difficulty of one. And the reason why you want to do this is because keywords such as this, I left my gas stove on for three hours. You pretty much do not need a single backlink to rank on page one for this keyword. So you can take a look. We estimate that you need backlinks from around two websites to rank in the top 10. So this is pretty much the secret rule to rank any new websites is you want to start creating a lot and a lot of content for keywords that has low keyword difficulty, but still has search volume. So for example, I can show you a harder keyword. For example, let's see, you know, a keyword such as this won't be a bad example. You don't want to be targeting world's best pork chops because firstly, this keyword itself has, uh, let's see here, has only 20 search volume every single month, uh, but it is very hard to rank for. You need around 84 websites to link to you to even stand a chance in ranking a top 10. So yeah, always take a look. The higher the volume, the lower the keyword difficulty. Those are the kind of keywords you want to start on your website. So once you found your keyword, um, for example, how long to air out house after guest burner left on, it has a search volume of 700 and keyword difficulty of four. What you want to do is you can go on ChatGPT and do something like, imagine you are writing a writer that really loves to cook. Please come up with five issue tags for the focus keyword of blank and ChatGPT will essentially write you the article. And before even posting this article on my website, I liked to use a paraphrasing tool such as quillbot.com, just so that something like zerogpt.com or any, any AI tool that can detect AI content will not be able to detect that I'm using ChatGPT. And obviously you can also personally go into edit each article yourself but what I like to do first mainly is just to write, write the article using ChatGPT, paraphrase it using something like killbot.com, post the article on my website, let it age for a few months. If that article is starting to rank, I will go back to that article and start optimizing it even further, you know, starting putting unique content or adding some POV, um, personal experience kind of thing. So for example, on the URL itself, what I like to do is also put the entire keyword as the slug for the URL, put the keyword on the title, and you can also put the keyword in the first 
two or three sentence. So this is pretty much optimizing for the target keyword itself. And then you can also put a keyword in some H2 tags, things like that. For some ideas on H2 tags, what you can do also is to look at some competitors. So just taking a look here, let's see. I'm using something called SEO Minion. So this shows me everything from whether they have a title, whether they have a meta description, um, how many words they have on the page, and the H1 and H2 tags. So for all pages that you make on your website, doesn't matter if it's the home page, the product page, the category page, every single page on your website should only have one H1 tag, and you can have multiple H2 tags, multiple H3 tags where it makes sense. Okay. So once you figure that out, you can post your article on your website and do this for as many keywords as you want per day. You know, if you want to start targeting all the, all the uh, low keyword difficulty keywords, you can do that. So this one here can be one page. This one here can be another page and keep going down the list. All these are manual work and I'm using the free chat GPT as well just so that everything is has no cost to it so yeah pretty much go down this format and this is how i started adding more articles without actually writing um, but once again once those articles start to rank on google you want to go into those articles to re-optimize it even further to make it better so it, it can actually stand a chance to rank on page one so that's really important guys okay as for backlinks you, again, you can take a look at your competitors. Always look at do follow backlinks only because there isn't much SEO benefit to get no follow backlinks, but those are also important to balance the diversity of your link velocity. Okay, so I will filter for one link per domain and yeah, essentially go down the list to look at suitable backlinks. So something like this here seems related to cooking it has a high domain rating and we can take a look. Yeah, so this is a good uh, website for a backlink and to check whether or not this website is getting any traffic. What I like to do is I like to essentially switch the domain. It's ranking for over 2 million keywords. So for example, if you're trying to rank for, um, you know, fudge as a keyword, what I like to do is I want to look at any articles on their website that's ranking for the keyword fudge. And you can see many options here. So the best kind of backlinks would be to get a backlink from a page on their website already ranking for this keyword. So such as this one here. Ideally, you want to get a backlink somewhere in this section here. You know, for example, if your website is, if your website is, um, let's see here, burneralert.com, what you want them to do is ideally put your link here. So you can say something like, oh, anyway, um, burneralert.com has good fudge articles that you should check out. And then you can link your article there or you can even link to your homepage. And then just to check the website to make sure that it actually gets organic traffic, you can look at overview on Ahref. So again, the domain rating is 86 and it has 7 million organic traffic. So this is a really good website to get a backlink from, especially if you're in the cooking niche. Um, if you're in any other niche like technology, tennis, things like that, ideally you want to only get backlinks from your industry. So there isn't really much benefit of you getting a backlink from a cooking website. You always want to get backlinks from websites that are related to your industry. They have organic traffic and they are, have high authority. So those are the strongest backlinks for you. And basically it's a case by case basis and everyone has different backlinks they want to go after. Okay. So that's pretty much my strategy on how I increase my own organic traffic by 
essentially is just to target keywords that your competitors are ranking for that are easy to rank for without backlinks. Um, just to show you another example, all these here are easy backlinks, easy keywords to rank for. So personally, I would make a separate page for this one, this one, this one, and so on. Some of the keywords can be combined into one article. So usually you want to choose the keyword, uh, keyword volume with the highest keyword volume so that you can get more organic traffic essentially. <laughs> okay, that's pretty much my strategy. Um, if you have any questions about it at all,